Uh, my name is Zoran Elinav. Um, I'm a senior researcher or assistant professor at the Weizmann Institute of Science. Um, um, heading um, a lab at the immunology department focusing on the study of host microbiome interactions in health and disease. The gastrointestinal tract of every uh, uh, one of us is one of the most crowded cultures of bacteria on earth and it exists within each and every one of us. Th the fact that these microbes exist has been known for 150 years of modern science. F from the moment people developed microscopes they were able to, to look in their feces and to see that there are many many microbes. But only in 2001 when the Human Genome Project developed biotechnological revolutionary methods that for the first time enabled us to characterize and to sequence large chunks of genomic data, we were able to take the same exact methodologies that were developed for the human genome and apply them to the genes of our microbes and to start studying which microbes we have inside us and what they do. We were amazed to see how many microbes we have within each and every one of us. We were, we were seeing that each of us has a unique microbiome than one another and we're slowly starting to tease apart the functions of these thousands of microbial families and how important they are to our human health. Disturbances in this microbiome are closely linked to a uh, risk or propensity to develop very important multifactorial diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, um, infection, autoimmunity, cancer, and even neurodegenerative uh, disease. Um, of course, the, the, the million dollar question, maybe the billion dollar question is to understand the mechanism by which these interactions lead or contribute to these uh, diseases um, uh, development. Now, um, we believe that by understanding the molecular basis of these interactions, we will be able to hopefully develop interventions that are targeting the microbiome or host microbiome interactions and would help to um, cure or prevent some of these uh, very common disorders. The ERC aims for us to think big, to ask big questions, to go after the, the big unresolved issues, um, to, be, to be ambitious. It's a very unique granting opportunity uh, b because it allows you to, to really explore your vision and, and to describe how you intend to try and accomplish this vision. So I think it, it really is um, a very formidable force in, in advancing big science.